Hey everyone, um, it is just warmed up. It's kind of the first warm break that we've had in probably about two, three weeks. Um, so much so that I, I've never seen it this cold. Um, it was negative 40. I ended up losing a calf in it. Um, I had the barns open. I tried putting straw down. I did everything I could. and It's just the way it goes sometimes. But on a more lively note, I have a little uh, surprise for you guys. I know... I showed them on Instagram, but I didn't really do any videos on them. So I'll take you guys along and show you my new little friend. So this sleeping little monster right here is George. <clears throat> he's had a rough morning. I swear he's testing every bit of my patience, but that's the way puppies do. Um, golden Retriever, um, purebred. I've waited about a year for him. The reason I waited so long is because the genetics for him are very um, wide. One of the issues we're having in Ontario is the pet stores have closed up. So that's forced all of uh, the people looking for dogs to go outside of pet stores. And the pets used to come from Quebec. And now it's all coming from Ontario. So there's a lot bigger supply or a lot bigger demand than there is supply. So the prices have gone insane for dogs as well as they have become extremely inbreded. Um, and you're seeing a lot of dogs dying really young. Um, one of the issues I had with Nash was he passed away, uh, what I would consider, consider relatively early, because he was inbreded. Um, so this time I didn't want to make that mistake, so I waited the patience and time, and uh, I waited for him because I knew that he would be, uh, they had a breeder that specifically made sure that they don't do that, and that they have really wide genetics, and that the mother and father are very, very distant, far away from each other. So, he is smart, but I swear he just likes testing your patience sometimes. He's a good dog, but uh, it's a learning experience for me. Because when I got Nash, he was um, two years old when I got him. So, he was more or less somewhat trained. He lived outside when I got him, but it didn't take him long to pick up. Um... So, where was I? Um, I was just mentioning that it didn't take him long to learn um, how to basically go outside to the washroom and everything like that. Where this guy, it's a whole new experience. He's seven weeks old and uh, he's a baby and I'm not used to that. And one of the big, re the really big shockers, and I guess I didn't really think about it as much as maybe I should have, is crate training. Man, is it tough. Um, they squeal as loud as they can um, all night until they feel that they've deafened you good enough that you can wake up in the morning at 7 a.m. But that's part of it. But I, the reason I bring that up is I was wondering, I know a lot of other people would have a lot more experience in dogs than I would. Um, if you have any tricks or ideas or ways to get crate training to be a little bit easier for them, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear it in the comments because um, I'm having a little bit of difficulty with it. Uh, most of our dogs, including Jake that runs around the border collie that you see in some of my videos, they've been outside dogs. Um, Nash was a little bit of a different story. But overall, they've been mostly outside dogs. And uh, the problem is, is because we've never dealt with one this young, um, they more or less, um, um, we've never really had the indoor issue. And uh, it's kind of a new experience for us. So as I said, comment below if you know anything about how to crate, uh, crate train dogs better or a more effective way because I'm a little stumped on it and I don't have a lot of experience in that area. But on that note, unfortunately today I had to clean up that calf and uh, it's warm so I'll probably do some snow plowing around any of the areas I got lazy on. Because it's been so cold, I've been basically running the tractor a very short time. I know that's not good for it, but the, the hydraulics to heat up, you're like looking at 20, 30 minutes because it's been negative 30. Um, there was nights where it was getting down to negative 40. Um, that's why I let the cattle inside. Typically, the cattle don't go inside. I don't like them inside because they muck up the barns, and that's kind of my little sorting area. So I'm going to use today as a little bit of a cleaning area, but unfortunately, the little puppy here had a rough night, so it might be taken a little short. Um, the other thing, too, is because farms are a different situation than houses, there's a lot of hazards that farms have on for little puppies that houses don't have so I have to be really careful on where I place them um, inside the house and everything like that it's it's just uh, I have to be really careful on hazards so so far right now I think I'm gonna leave him in the truck for a little bit um, it's warm out so it's not that big a deal he's sleeping 
um, and I'm gonna get a couple things done while he's sleeping, and then I'll let him outside for a little bit, and uh, he should be all right. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe as always. Um, take care, keep farming, and uh, keep having fun. Thanks for taking a look at the puppy.